Hey, what's up everybody? BD up 44 coming at you with another video. All right, so I wasn't even going to do a video on this because it was that garbage. It was it was really that bad. Well, first of all, All-Star Saturday night, the entire process didn't suck. I'm not going to say the whole thing sucked. I actually like what they did with some of the, you know, the skills challenge that that ref reformation was really good. Uh Yesterday, what they did with the the entire uh, youth movement, splitting that up into three different teams, uh, I thought was really dope. Having that turn into a tournament, uh, representing other uh, you know old school guys who would come along. Uh, Rick Barry's team won. I thought that was pretty cool. I, I enjoyed watching that. But the dunk contest tonight, Obi Toppin was the was the victor, and I gotta say maybe the worst one I had ever seen. I think I, w I saw another dunk contest that was about that bad a long time ago. I don't think it was the Desmond Mason one. That one actually wasn't that bad. It was just, I remember his name, Desmond Mason, from being the dunk contest, and that was about it. That was one of the years where we really didn't have a lot of stars, but I don't think it sucked that bad. But there was another one that was really bad. I don't remember who it was involving. But this one was pretty much as bad as that one, the one that I'm, I'm referring to. It was just, I mean, Obi Toppin could have won that thing laying the ball up. Honestly, it was that bad. I mean, you had Jalen Green who couldn't get his dunk off at all but kept trying to do the same thing over and over again. You had Cole Anthony who wasn't able to complete his dunk even though it looked pretty good. You had Juan Toscano Anderson who was just Doing regular dunks that you see in a layup line, like literally with regular dunks. And it was Obi Toppin who did his dunk where he tapped the backboard and then tapped the rim. And it was cool, but you had to see it slowed down. I mean, I just seen dunks that didn't qualify getting you out of the first round that were better than what won it tonight. Like, honestly, wouldn't have got them out of the first round in other, other uh dunk contest so that that did not move me at all and I think most people agree that that was just trash but three point contest was pretty good I ain't gonna lie you saw some fantastic rounds out of guys Luke Kennard had a fantastic round man that's the second round the qualifying round where you know that that led up to the championship itself I gotta say Carl Towns went nuts I think he went with along with I think he had 29 to, to actually win it and he started that that round with that round <laughs> he started the round with his his, his performance and kind of set the tone you gotta respect Trey Young for putting up a smooth 26 um, in response to that but Carl I mean he made it so that nobody could win that and you gotta give him credit as I've said the greatest three point shooting center ever and he solidified that tonight, winning this three-point contest uh, in dominant fashion. In dominant fashion, the most points ever scored in a finals round, if I'm not mistaken. So, that's Carl Towns for you, man. A lot of people are talking about the Lakers making the trades. And I've heard Carl Towns' name out there in terms of who you would get back for Anthony Davis. I would consider that. I would definitely consider that, considering what type of player he is. Uh, considering what type of big man this team apparently wants, you know, or is about in terms of wanting to run small ball but not necessarily being able to. Carl Towns gives you the best of both worlds in that way because he stretches the floor so well, plays like a guard, uh, can also play inside, of course, like like AD, but just stretches the floor more so than AD. Um, on the offensive end, he sees what the upgrade would be, not necessarily defensively, so... I'm not in love with making a trade, you know, getting rid of a player with the caliber of uh, Anthony Davis, a name attached to that. But if I'm going to do that and I can bring back a Carl Towns, uh, I'd say that's a W. But uh, I don't I don't think Minnesota would be in a, in a rush to get rid of that player. I really don't. But uh, I'll tell you this. He definitely put him, himself up there as one of the great shooting big men of all time. And, uh I think that was already established by the numbers, but I think you'll recognize it more so now after that performance. So, yeah, yeah, that's what's up. All in all, I give the entire weekend a, a B minus, I guess. It was just a dunk contest that was really terrible. The rest of the stuff that they've done, I actually like 
the formatting from which they've made changes. It's been pretty good. So, yeah, man. Maybe, maybe just remove the dunk contest entirely and replace it with something doper. I don't know. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like the players that you want to see do the contest really get involved. You know? It's just the best dunkers in the game are not out there. And, and I don't know why that is, but I can tell you that the guys that they're asking to do it, when they don't have those names, usually aren't showmen. Aren't, aren't players that are going to put you in a position to want to watch them for 25 minutes and, you know, missing dunks over and over again. It gets to a point where if a guy misses a dunk, give him another try. If he messes up that try, make him try a different dunk. That's what needs to happen. I just, you know what I mean? Because it gets to a point where, like, it, it, all right, I can, I understand try and try again. I don't have any problem with that. You, you remove the Nate Robinson nonsense, but it still felt like that tonight, where a guy's trying to dunk for like 15, 20 times. It felt like that. So, I don't mind if you give a guy another chance. Just force him to do something different. That's all I'm asking. I think that'll make for a better show. Two tries. That's it. But um, anyway, yeah, man, I just wanted to kind of connect with everybody. Hope everybody's enjoying their All-Star weekend. Um, the big game is obviously tomorrow. Should be a fun one. it been some names that are being uh, taken out last minute. Uh, so we'll, we'll see if there are any more going forward. But uh, I, I think the game's going to be pretty interesting given the names that they're putting in there are exciting guys. You know, Jared Allen, DeJounte Murray, um, Obviously, the mellow ball, those are names that I think make the ga- the game itself, all-star game itself, more fun to watch. Uh, so so I'm excited about those those players playing, and uh, we'll see. The game's in Cleveland. Obviously, Bron, you know, you would imagine it's going to be him uh, going after the MVP. But I would say Dark Horse is Steph Curry. Don't forget, he's from that area, too. And he doesn't often get the recognition as a player from Cleveland slash Akron. Uh, that he deserves because of his namesake and we know his father played charlotte and stuff like that obviously he he's played his tired career in golden state so you don't really the, the, the casual fan may not really recognize that this is his hometown as well so um it's been in the back of my mind that he may f- feel just as is vindicated winning this in cleveland as braun would and wouldn't be surprised if he actually ends up winning it himself so just keep an eye out for that that little that little thing there. Um, but I'll tell you this. Physically, all-star game, I wouldn't be surprised if Giannis just takes it out of sheer will. I mean, he's going to be obviously the best conditioned athlete on the floor. And a lot of the sentimental type of stuff that you just expect to see may just be out outdone by a player who just gets hot. Because it's just that type of all-star year. And... Uh, He's been that kind of dominant guy like Joel Embiid. These guys are playing so well right now that I wouldn't be surprised if that carries over into an all-star game. I wouldn't be surprised. But, you know, betting money would probably be uh, putting it on LeBron just out of sheer understanding that it's Cleveland. So, you know, that's that that's an easy bet. But anyway, yeah, that's what I got to say, man. Uh, BDF44 here once again. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.